So I've just installed this fleece blanket in the polytunnel and I th find it's a really useful thing to do for quite a few reasons actually. So I thought I'd just quickly go through, you, through those and I'll show you how I've got it set up. So basically the way that it's set up is that there's um, a tile batten, just a long piece of wood that just traps the fleece and holds it down at the back onto the floor. So it just doesn't um, blow away or anything like that. And then it's clipped to this little bench. And so it forms a wall between the cold north side of the polytunnel and the south side. So the sun comes in like this and it gets reflected back down onto the bed here. Um, but also, you know, there's just a, a nice warm zone effectively protecting the plants from that cold polythene side. So it's up like that all the way through until I string up the uh, tomatoes. So that's, an, you know, about, about June, I'll take it out because it doesn't get in the way. It doesn't reduce light levels at all. There's no real reason to take it out. So I have it supported on uh, canes and I, I've got nice smooth plastic canes here so they don't snag on it and those canes are just supported on fence pins and that means it's just really easy to lay it over the bed. It really only takes a couple of minutes um, to de deploy it and put it back again so it's about a minute to put it down and a minute to put it back up again probably even less than that. So it's definitely something that's practical to do on any frosty day that I happen to be down here. I mean, if it's chucking it down with rain and I don't come down to the plot and it's gonna frost that night, I don't worry about it because everything's hardy. Um, but if I'm down here anyway, and it's gonna be frosty, then I will pop it down. And that just reduces the stress that the plants are subjected to by being repeatedly frozen and unfrozen. They, can all, they won't kill them, uh, but it will uh, put a check on the growth. And so it's really nice and easy to uh, just pop that down and just helps the plants out a little bit. I thought I'd just talk a little bit about how fleece works and some of the other options you can use in addition to fleece. So when you put fleece over a bed, what you're really doing is you're trapping heat that will be released by this, the compost and soil in the bed overnight. So what happens is during the day, this nice black brown surface absorbs loads and loads of infrared radiation. It increases its temperature. And then when you put the fleece blanket over, that uh, heat gets released through convection and, and infrared radiation. That hits the fleece blanket, it gets trapped, and it just circulates around here, uh, keeping the leaves nice and warm, and doesn't escape into the atmosphere. So another thing that happens is that infrared radiation that does get through the fleece blanket and hits the polythene, sometimes that'll just go straight through the polythene. But I've got a coating on my polythene which is hydrophobic, which turns condensation water droplets into a thin film. Uh, hydrophobic means loves, wa loves water. So it pulls the water droplet flat against the um, polythene creating this thin reflective film that reflects infrared radiation back in here. Now some people swear by putting water bottles in the beds and then putting fleece over the top but I, don't th I think that makes a very marginal difference and I'll, and I'll explain why. I, I think there's about 400 litres of water in the first six inches of the, in the top six inches of that bed and so when you think about that that is 200 two litre water bottles. Now that would cover the whole bed with, with water bottles. So if you were just adding maybe 10 water bottles down there to capture water, then you're probably only increasing the amount of heat that's being captured by um, <laughs> 20, a um, 5%. So that is pretty marginal. So I, I can't be bothered with doing that. Partly also because obviously I'm, I'm using up space, growing space to put the water bottles in there. 
So I don't think that's worth it. For, I'd certainly be use, losing 5% of yield uh, by putting them in there anyway. So there's not a lot of point. But it's, it is useful to keep your beds reasonably well hydrated, but try and keep the surface nice and dry, try and keep the leaves nice and dry. So water on days when it's sunny and you can leave, open the doors and get all the leaves nice and dry by the end of the day. Um, and that will reduce the risk of mildews and things like that. Anyway, that's the way it works. That's the way fleece blankets work. And uh, they just trap the heat that's stored in the ground. Um, and polythene doesn't do that incredibly well. Um, you know, the, the heat tends to get lost through convention, convection as the um, heat rises up from the plants is this huge air volume uh, that that heat gets dissipated in and obviously when it touches the polythene it's touching cold air and so it rapidly gets lost but by keeping just you know this sort of height of air you can actually you know really get to nice and warm uh, under there through uh, lost heat from the bed so i really like it i generally only do this bed unless it's going to get really cold and then i'll do this bed just because this one's so quick and that one takes a few minutes longer. And, you know, I, I, as I said, I'm not that obsessed about it. Anything that I can do in a few seconds, I'll do. But if it takes me a few minutes, I probably won't do unless it's going to be a really hard frost. So I'll just talk about the option of laying the fleece over your plants or supporting it about 30 centimetres above the plants. Now, I like to, above 30 centimetres above the ground, I like to have it supported above the ground. And the reason is that I have a lot of stuff in here that is quite fragile. So I've got lots of spring onions, lots of garlic, lots of onions, things like that. And I will also have lots of little brassicas and things. And I just don't, you know, those sorts of plants, uh, the, probably the brassicas are fine, but the onions and the garlic and stuff, they just really don't want to be bent over with the weight of the fleece. This is a nice heavyweight fleece. I think it's 30 grams. It is, you know, it is relatively heavy and it will bend over. Uh, anything like that so by keeping it supported you know there's, there's no mechanical stress on the plants and um, yeah I think it's just a better option if you decide when to put the fleece down I would recommend putting it down about an hour or two before sunset depending on how sunny the day is if you put it down about an hour before sunset and it's reasonably sunny uh, then you'll actually capture quite a lot of extra heat the sunlight will go through the fleece and warm the air and so you'll ha not not only have warm ground but you'll also have a nice warm air volume that's trapped inside the fleece uh, so that'll be even better and obviously it tends to be sunny days um, when you're going to get the worst frosts over winter and but if it's going to be if it's quite cloudy you could put it down a couple of hours before if you put it down a couple of hours before and it's really sunny it could get really hot and humid in there and uh, that wouldn't be good for the plants you know too much heat just before a frosty night isn't a great idea um, final thing that you could do if you had something that was a little bit tender so i wouldn't do this with lettuces and spinach and things like that but i might do it if i had an early crop of french beans for example is you could mist that before you put the fleece blanket over and that increases the humidity humidity of the air and reduces the likelihood of a frost. Humid air freezes. Um, I don't know the science of this actually, but I think humid air freezes a little bit uh, lower temperature. So I think that's it. I don't think it's, as I say, there's no point obsessing about things like fleece blankets and stuff in the UK climate because everything can cope really with the frost levels that a UK climate can uh, throw at it with the protection of the polytunnel because the polytunnel is already providing relief from so many stressors that the plants uh, would otherwise have to suffer. So you've got perfect hydration levels, so no waterlogged soil, you've got no mechanical stress from wind, uh, heavy rain, hail, snow loads and things like that. Um, you've got really nice um, warm daytime temperatures, you've got you know, a reduction in uh, frost stress during at night time. And with the fleece, you could eliminate that f uh, frost stress as well. So you've just got, you know, and you've got high, nice high ventilation levels. 
So you've got pretty much everything that plants need to thrive in winter without the extra protection, apart from on the worst and coldest days. As I said, if you were doing in sp early spring, something kind of more interesting like early courgettes or early French beans, or even carrots, I would say, uh, and turnips and things like that, they would all benefit from a little bit of extra protection, more than spinach and lettuce and things like that. Um, but that's a uh, subject for another topic, really. That, that's not really winter growing, that's early spring growing. So anyway, my name's Steve, this is the Seaside Allotment Channel, and I'll see you soon.